Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk and all things real estate and home ownership related. Today we're going to be talking home ownership, home owner, home owners insurance. I can talk today. Uh, we're going to be talking home owners insurance, and we have local insurance expert joining us, Scott Ackerman. Without further ado, let's get Scott on to join us. Hi, Scott. Can you see me? Yes, I can see uh -huh. you and hear you. How are you? Uh, well, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you being here. Um, you are the local insurance expert. You are my insurance expert, my personal insurance expert. So yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I wanted to bring you on today. You and I both love to educate our clients and educate the public. And that's what this program is all about. Um, talking about different topics that relate to the real estate industry, to home ownership, and you know what information we can provide to to help and educate. So today we're going to be talking homeowners insurance. So yeah, <laughs> thank you for having me, Trace. This is super so, cool. Very impressive. So, buddy. Thank you. Thanks so much. So so mm -hmm. let's just start off with you know, with the basics. What is homeowners insurance? Wow, <clears throat> what is home? Right, right into right. it. <laughs> to the basics. Well, honestly, just like any insurance, homeowner insurance is obviously something that will fix your house if some accidental direct physical loss or something happens that's unexpected, whether it's a fire, hail damage, rain, whatever it may be. You want to make sure that you're protected, make sure you're insured because you do have a pretty big investment in your home. So, yes. again, if your house falls apart, that's what we're here for. Yeah, absolutely. Or even if it doesn't completely fall apart, but something happens, right? You mentioned like something unexpected. Um, I know that in our area, uh, about eight years ago or so, we had a huge hailstorm that came through. And so depending on the damage that was done to your home, some people were getting roofs, some had to have siding redone on their homes. So right. to this day, I think it was April 12th, to this day, that is probably the most claims I've ever had in my 20 years. Wow. Back to back to back, where I had whiteboards in my office full <laughs> of customers who had damage that we had to make sure we got to. So yeah, very good memory. That was a big deal. Yes, it was. Well, I remember because I had to have my roof replaced as, as a part of that. And, you know, yeah. that's a big benefit of homeowners insurance is that, you know, that obviously was unexpected. A roof is a big cost. Um, it wasn't something that necessarily, it didn't need to be replaced otherwise. Um, so being damaged that way, then it was able to be taken care of. So, And actually, let me, let me clarify too, because that's a, that's a good point. So many people think if something happens to your house, no matter what it is, I just got to call my insurance agent because that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, as somebody's State Farm agent, I want all customer claims handled at every single time. I want no questions asked. I want State Farm to say, here's the check. Of right. course, I want. But there's things like all of a sudden they see a, a leak in their drywall of some sort, and they immediately assume we're going to replace that whole room because, well, that just happened. But there has to be an accidental direct physical loss. That's really the key. Whoever's listening, whoever's watching, when you want to know if you need to file a claim, what you need to ask yourself or look around and see, is there an accidental direct physical loss? If that's right. the case, that peril is probably covered. Okay. All right. So accidental physical loss. Yeah. So direct physical direct loss. Direct physical loss. Okay. That's that's good information because, yes, I do think people think like, oh, this happened. I'll call my insurance. Mm -hmm. um, but not only is not everything necessarily covered, but we have a deductible, right? So there's, you know, when you when you make a claim on your insurance, there's a certain amount depending on your policy that right. you pay. And sometimes just having, you know, taking care of that without filing a claim can be a more cost effective route right. to go. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So and so homeowners insurance, this is something that if you put a mortgage, if you take out a mortgage for a property, this is required. Um, you don't you don't get an option with it. If you are a cash buyer, 
it's up to you right, right, but yeah. but the bank or the the you know who's ever loaning you the money the financial institution loaning you the money they want to make sure that if something happens if there is one of those accidental direct losses to the home that their investment because they own the home with you <laughs> that their investment is right. protected so right. <laughs> exactly and i have had some cases where they call in and I'm like, well, we don't have your house. And there's like a $400,000 house. He goes like, yeah, but I don't need that insured. I'm like, oh, really? Which I think is a little bit comical because people say, Scott, it's paid off. I don't need it insured. I'm here to help coach and educate, but right. I would not mess around with that. But some people just hate paying insurance, which I understand. I get it. They hate the insurance. Yeah. But yeah. We're to help. Yep. Yep. And you are. You absolutely are. You're always there to help. Um, now, as far as insurance goes, there's, it's not just a one size fits all, right? I, I mean, it's up to the homeowner. There's a lot of different options, right? right. That, that right. you can add on. And so it's important for, as a homeowner, that you are talking with Scott or your, uh, your insurance agent right. to make sure that you have all the coverage that you desire on your home. Right, that's right. right. Yeah, pretty, I mean, most homeowners insurance is pretty cookie cutter when it comes to we plug in the square footage, we plug in the address, and honestly, nowadays, we have so much, so many resources with, within State Farm, let's say, or within insurance companies that we pull the house right up, the square footage, the year bill, you name it, pretty much everything comes up. And what happens is it, is it spits out a number that we say, based on this information, this is gonna, gonna cost us to rebuild it. And so that is the cookie cutter part of it. Sure. State Farm automatically throws in 20%, on top of that, because of course, no one's 100% sure what it's gonna cost, so we throw in an extra 20%, which is nice. But the biggest thing to trace, not only that's super important, of course, but it's the endorsements or the options that you brought up. The endorsements that are big are the things that I would look at, whether you're insured with State Farm or with other companies, are things like backup sewer and drain. Uh, backup sewer and drain's a big deal because a lot of people's power goes out often. And if your sump pump stops, and all of a sudden you have all this sewage in your basement, if you don't have that endorsement, you're not going to have a good day. Mm -hmm. Because it <laughs> wouldn't be fun. Right. So that's a big one. It's backup sewer and drain. Um, home systems protection. That's another endorsement that's good that I would check with your insurance company. What that is, it's relatively new, but it's we replace appliances, believe it or not, which is kind of an odd okay. If your furnace goes out, yep. um, dishwashers, washer dryers, sounds absurd, but that's the kind of things that there may be coverage for now if you have that endorsement. Okay, and there's so there's, yeah. Yeah, so those, and those are great options to know. And that's like you said, it's, it's important for a homeowner. Um, you know, I would encourage you to contact your local insurance agent or right. if you, you know, are unsure or you're shopping around or looking for insurance, give Scott a call uh, because you wanna make sure that you understand what your coverage is. And if you are a new buyer, you're currently in the market shopping for a home, you wanna understand um, what options are available to you. So that way you know when that accidental direct loss occurs, whether right. or not it's something that you've planned or covered for. No, that's exactly right. And make sure that you feel super comfortable. I'm serious, passionate, nutcase pretty much when it comes to education and coaching on insurance. I get the concept when I got in this business 20 years ago, you hear the word insurance and you're running for the hills. Like he's trying to sell me something, <laughs> he's trying to do whatever. That's all garbage, or at least from office, it's garbage. Yeah. Uh, it's super important to understand what you have and to make sure you're talking to the right people that you can ask the questions to without feeling like you're a pain in the neck. You should not right. be a pain in the neck because you're paying them money to right. air things. So ask the questions, spend as much time as you need to asking questions, and there is no dumb question, that's for sure, especially in insurance. Well, that's good because I like to ask questions. <laughs> right. Me too. Yeah. So, well, is there anything else that you feel that um, homeowners, potential homeowners um, should know or understand about homeowners insurance? Um, I guess every, everybody pretty much knows about deductibles, I guess. But, you know, 20 years ago, we used to have a $100 deductible, 250 deductible. Now those days are gone. And, and I would encourage, again, I don't care where you're insured, wherever you're insured, Move up your deductible as much as you can, whether it's a thousand dollar minimum, you know, one percent, two percent. It's the greatest way to save a ton of money because you're really looking for the insurance company 
to come in and help you when there's this catastrophic loss. You know, right. that would save you a lot of money. And if you're able to afford a couple thousand bucks, if you, I don't, I don't know if, if there's a little bit of damage in your dining room, then I would recommend doing that. But if you're uncomfortable, of course, you can have the lower deductibles. Okay, that's good advice. So thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I didn't mention at the beginning, but Scott has well over 20 years experience in the insurance industry. Um, you know, he knows, he knows his industry, he knows his stuff. And as you mentioned, he's here to help and educate. So I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate your help personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you so much for joining yeah. us today. Yeah, of course, that was super so. fun. I appreciate you having me on and I still love it. This is cool. This is great. Well, we'll have you back on again. We can get yep. in a little more yep. detail on some of the different uh, different options that, yeah. uh, that are available. Yeah. So. I'd be honored. All right, well, thank you so thank much, you. Scott. Thanks for yep. joining us. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Tea with Tracy. Sounds good. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks. Bye-bye.